that's the one with Kaftara. Two to one on, front end late Oscar Schindler and the vintage crop. Can he do it? Kaftara, two to one on. Yvonne's pace, the one to go in last, and away they go. Cave Tyler comes out uh, last of the quintet, and Gingas Canada is who uh, makes the early running as they stretch along the far side of the course. And Genghis Khan, the only three-year-old in the lineup, leading by about three lengths to Yovanis Pace, just been overtaken now for second place by Cave Tara, the odds-on favourite. And Zelia's last but one in the grey. Silver Patriarch brings up the rear. Heading down now towards the mile-and-a-half start, and as they pass it, Genghis Khan and Seamus Heffernan in the lead by almost two lengths to Cave Tara, who's uh, three in front of Yovanis Pace, Joe Fanning having his first classic ride in Ireland, and Zelly on the outside, and Silver Patriarch and uh, Pat Edry. Pat uh, bidding for his second Irish Ledger win, won it uh, back in 85 on leading council. He brings up the rear. Continuing down the far side, the wind's still blowing, the rain has eased, and it's Genghis Khan in the lead by two and a half lengths to Cave Tara in second. They're followed by Enzelli. The Ascot Gold Cup winner in third, and they're followed by Yovanis Pace on the inside and Silver Patriarch, runner-up in this race a year ago, last of the five runners as they continue on now towards the mile pole. Genghis Khan, a good steady pace in the lead by just over a length to Cave Tara second. Frankie de Tori, they're followed in third place on the outside by Enzelli. Yovanis Pace close on the inner, and Silver Patriarch remains in rear, about to start the run uphill. Genghis Khan leading them by a length. Cave Tara close in second, a two length break then to Enzelli with Yovanis Pace on his inside and Silver Patriarch in rear. Racing up towards the six furlong pole, and Genghis Khan leads them in the Jefferson Smurford Memorial Ari St. Ledger. A length and a half to Cave Tara, the favourite. Enzelli is uh, in third place, less than half a length in front of Yovanis Pace and just been. Uh, Pushed along a bit at the back of Silver Patriarch as they run along the top of the course. They've over five furlongs to cover and begin the descent now towards the straight with Genghis Khan, the leader, Cave Tara. Within three parts of a length, a two and a half length gap then to uh, Yavanna's pace. And Zelly's been ridden along and Silver Patriarch not making much headway at this stage as they run for home. They've uh, just under half a mile to go and Cave Tara makes his move now, goes to the front, the favourite, followed through by Yovanis Pace with a white face, Genghis Khan three, and Zelly struggling four, and Silver Patriarch out the back. They're in the straight, they've over two furlongs to race, and down the centre of the track they come, Cave Tara in the lead, pursued by Yovanis Pace, and they have it between them, they've gone right away from Genghis Khan, and Zelly and Silver Patriarch. Inside the two, Cave Tara the leader, Yovanis Pace coming over to the stand rail. They've just over a furlong to go, and it's Cave Tara, Driven out by uh, Frankie on the far side. Giovanna's pace right over on the stand rail. The rest of them don't count. Inside the final furlong in the Jefferson Smurfett Memorial Ari St. Ledger and Cape Tara is rapid to victory. Wins it uh, for the second consecutive year and wins it very easily indeed. Giovanna's pace, the game effort in second and they're clear of Silver Patriarch who stays on to finish third ahead of Enzeli. Disappointing in fourth and the long-time leader Genghis Khan is last of the five.